Hi everybody, my name's Natalie Kelly and I'm playing Noah Hamilton on Baker and the Beauty. Hi, Candice Jack here with another episode of Insider Voices. Stan's The Baker and the Beauty is now streaming. You may already know its lead Australian actress Natalie Kelly. She starred in Unreal, Dynasty and The Vampire Diaries. We spoke about the show's diverse cast, how she was able to keep her Aussie accent in the series and how her Hollywood career is going amid the coronavirus pandemic. Hey, need a ride? Come on, in 10 seconds, TMZ is going to be all over us. So what do you say? In or out? Hi, Nat. Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh, you look lovely. I love your outfit. I got out of my pajamas for you. <laughs> We're all there. We're all there. I thought about doing it with my tracksuit pants because I was like, why should I change? This is it. This is who I am. And then I realized, oh, yeah, I'm playing a character called the beauty. <laughs> and people might have a hard time with it if I really show up in my quarantine look. He's the baker and she's the beauty. So Baker and the Beauty, I've seen one episode so far and it's so wholesome. I love it and I can't wait to see more. What was it like working on a show like this? It was as magical as it feels to watch it. That's how magical it was to make it. It was a dream cast. Like I couldn't ask to collaborate with more talented or funnier people. Um, there was so much love between us and the show really is about, you know, family and love and coming together. And that translated off screen too. So, and the love we had for each other off screen translated on screen. So it was just one big love fest. And then you sprinkle a lot of, whoops, a lot of salsa and Latin dancing onto that and you have the recipe for a lot of fun. You yourself do have Latin heritage, so what was it like being a part of a cast that is so diverse? Yeah, it was, uh, it's pretty, it was, felt pretty groundbreaking, to be honest. Like, it wasn't intentional that it was an all Latin cast, but that's how it ended up, uh, that's how it, it like, it ended up, because I do have Latin heritage. Um, but they obviously didn't plan for Noah and Lewis to be Latinos, but uh, Dan Bukatinsky, who plays Lewis, he's uh, Argentine. So, and then I'm obviously Australian, but have Latin roots and ancestry. So yeah, it felt pretty groundbreaking. Diversity is very important, and this would not have happened 15 years ago. And it is really important to have authentic representation on screen of what society actually looks like. You know, sometimes it feels weird when when um, people just check the boxes, the diversity boxes, and th the opposite happened in this show. Like they actually actually just cast the best people for the job. There's a feeling of authenticity about it. And, and the fact that I get to keep my Australian accent too, it like, it adds a whole nother layer of diversity onto the show. It's really exciting. Breaking the internet today, reports are Noah Hamilton, the model turned fashion mogul, and Colin Davis have broken up. Oh my God. This. Was it meant to be an Australian? Or when they saw you, they just said, let's, let's just keep your original accent. When I auditioned, I had the foresight to kind of see that maybe me be doing an American accent would just kind of like make them think that I was not that different to him. But I came in myself, that was a choice that I made with my Australian accent and they liked it. Even though I have Latin ancestry, culturally growing up in Australia, Natalie and Noah are very different from the world of Little Havana, Cuban family. And so that there was a good, big cultural divide for them to overcome. In the first episode, Natalie's character Noah goes on a crazy and spontaneous first date. But she says she's far from the adventurous dating type. Look, I've never repelled down a building <laughs> on a date. No, I can't actually, I don't have one to top that. And that's why she's Noah and I'm Natalie. Yeah. If I actually went on a, a normal date, to the movies and got some dinner, that would be crazy for me because I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> As for her career in Hollywood amid the coronavirus pandemic, this is what she had to say. I'm one of those actresses that don't like to work a lot. <laughs> Like one show a year would be enough for me. So luckily I didn't have anything that was maybe like shut down in terms of a production. Um, I don't know if anybody, if any actor knows when their next gig is gonna happen right now. Thanks for watching this episode of Insider Voices with me, Candace Jack. Stay tuned for part two of my chat with Natalie where we discuss the problems with modern proposals and how she's staying grounded in self-isolation. Thanks again, stay safe.